Sonam, you are the, of course, inspiration behind Amir Khan's three idiots. Your video, Sonam, calling for a boycott of Chinese products has gone viral. What prompted you, Sonam, to call for a complete boycott of Chinese products? Give up all Chinese software and hardware in a year is what you said. You want a wallet war. Explain that to us. Well, being in Ladakh, I have seen these uh, incursions and, you know, uh, sort of dadagiri on the borders for decades. Every year there is an uh, event and they move in by a few meters and now over years it has become kilometers. Our herders, shepherds have lost their pastures. People are facing lots of problems, yet our, you know, army takes a softer stand which uh, they seem to be get encouraged by. So therefore, uh, I thought that it should not be just the military left to respond to such uh, threats. It should be a duty for every citizen. And China being China, a totalitarian regime, mm -hmm. uh, it hurts them more when it is economic uh, hit, more than just bullets. So that's why I said wallets as well as bullets. Yeah? So while our army responds well with their bullets, we, we must as citizens also, you know, use our wallets uh, judiciously and not patronize such right. misbehavior. Uh, do you think though it's practical? Do you really believe it's possible as you are saying to uh, give up, let's say, your Chinese mobile phone within the next week or you know, throw out all the made in China goods that have flooded our market. Do you think it's practical in today's globalized world to really claim you can do an economic boycott of China? Are you simply playing to the gallery, Sonam? Well, that's for Indian citizens to decide, you know, what are the pros and cons and how it hurts us or helps us these products. Now, as far as whether it is practical, I would ask you, if, say, Jans, Jans were told that it's not practical to get, uh, you know, food free from onions and uh, things that they don't eat, uh, would they have just started eating onions and chicken and because it is not practical? No, they stand by their uh, own choices. And what you see in few years is that there are Jan restaurants uh, cropping up. So an uh, ecosystem fills up. To, to address the customers because customer is the king. So therefore, uh, businesses will adapt themselves. Companies will bring their businesses out of China if enough people in India and elsewhere uh, choose not to buy made in China. So I think businesses depend on uh, customers more than customers depend on businesses. Mm -hmm. Customers have choices. So businesses will adapt very soon. And that's why I was saying software in a week and hardware in a year. So we give them time to adapt to these uh, changed choices of the people. Mm -hmm. I think it is practical if we are determined. If we are not determined and we look at our own conveniences, then yes, uh, it is difficult. The reason, the reason I'm asking you this, Sonam, let's take an example. TikTok, you know, the, the, the site is virtually used by lots of young Indians in particular. Are you telling young Indians don't use TikTok anymore because it's a Chinese company? No, I'm telling them don't use TikTok because you are virtually supporting and financing the guns and rockets that's killing your cousins and brothers on the border. So. Do you, do you so much want your fun on TikTok that you would rather have your brothers killed on the border or they be intimidated and pushed around year after year? When you have something in your hands, you know, you can't have guns in your hands and go to the border to fight. That's what patriotic people want to do. But here is an uh, option. You just have to throw away everything that belongs to a regime that's not behaving well. Uh, I, I again say regime because I have nothing against people in China. Mm -hmm. So we people in China actually are equally a victim of this regime. So we outside China should help them also liberate in a way. And th this is an Im amazing opportunity. Or oh, you can do a lot of uh, activism and um, saviorism 
by just clicking some uh, nonsensical apps from your uh, phone or by choosing not to buy certain things uh, from certain countries. Right. This is the easiest thing you could do. If you can't even do that, then what is this national income in the three, uh, cinema halls? You know, I've gone to so many countries. Mm -hmm. I've never seen any country where people stand up to sing the national anthem even in cinema halls. I salute that, but we have to show that we mean business. That national anthem is not an empty humming when you have an opportunity, you can't even get rid of an app or some product.